So welcome. I'm glad you're able to come and make some art with me today. Uh, this is an activity that I'm doing to make myself feel better and maybe it'll work for you too. So you can use any sort of paper. I'm just using scratch paper, just you know, paper that printed wrong. And I'm setting it up with some other paper underneath around the edges because I want to get all the way to the edges with the artwork we're making. You can use any sort of materials. You know, you, crayons are really underrated as, a, as an art material. Color pencils, markers, ballpoint pens, everything. Just whatever you have around. It's all good. And now, this activity is going to be a scribbling activity. You know, scribbling is really wild. It's, it's real loose. Compared with doodling, doodling is more controlled. There's lines. You know, it's also relaxing, but it's a little bit different. It's less expressive. And it's also different from drawing, where you're trying to make it look like something. Now, this, today, we're just going to do some scribbling, just, just emotion, just swirly, whatever. Um, and that's the goal here, is to express our emotion onto paper, using art to express our emotions, and uh, see how that feels. So first, we're going to think about what we're worried about right now. And I'm just writing down kind of lightly on the paper. And this is something that can be private, just some things that I'm worried about right now. Some things that are giving me anxiety and making me more distracted when I try to do other things. So I'm going to write it down. And again, you don't have to share this. Uh, we're going to be covering all this up. Just write it lightly with a light color on the paper. And, you know, recognize these feelings that you're having so that you can move on. But recognize it. Uh, maybe you're going to talk about this with someone else. If you have other people to talk about your worries and your anxieties with, that's good. Share. Uh, that, that's how we get over worry and anxiety. And another way to get over it is just to recognize those feelings. You just scribble it out. So we just take, try the different materials, the different colors. We just want to try different types of scribbling. There's a tornado scribbling, zigzag scribble, scribbling. Uh, some of it's pointy, some of it's wavy. You know? Now with markers, you want to be careful of the tip. You want to be gentle with them because uh, they can get mashed up with crayons. Crayons, you can go real hard with crayons. Even hold it in your fist and just go at it. That feels good. Just really go real strong. We have, we have paper underneath so we can go all the way to the edges. And then just really just fill stuff in and keep feeling those, those feelings and just put it on the paper. We're taking our feelings, we're putting onto paper, we're, we're turning our feelings into art. You know, being able to, to express your emotion, that's what art is about. It's about expressing yourself. So let's just get that pure feeling onto the paper. You know, switch around, use all the material. We want to see all that energy get on there. And, you know, that's something we do. Like, that's an artistic practice, something I use in my art. You said put the energy on the page and to feel all that energy, that's when you're being a real artist. You know, when it's something real to you. And there's different types of scribbling you can explore. Try to do it like just from your little fingertip or the edge of the pencil, you know. And notice how the materials interact with each other. You know, the markers and the crayon. Sometimes the marker doesn't draw on top of the crayon. Uh, sometimes the pen can scratch through the, mar the crayon or, you know, go over the marker. So try it from your little fingertip. Do scribbling from your fingertip. Do scribbling from your shoulder, you know. And, See how loopy that can get. And just keep going at it. I'm just going to go real quick now and just oh, quick scribbling, quick scribbling. <laughs> going to fill up that whole page. And take as long as you need, put music on, you know, just to spend as much time as you feel like spending scribbling on page after page. And notice, notice how it feels. Now, once you've filled a lot of the space, you can try finding shapes in your scribbles and coloring those in. That could be relaxing too. Do lots of scribbles and then color in all the little shapes. Yeah, let's just keep going. Right. 
using all the materials that I have to scribble on this page. Okay, now I think I'm, I think I'm done. All right. Maybe a little bit more scribbling with this crayon. I can put some more marks on there. And I've got this big blue marker. I haven't used that yet. Let me, let me scribble with that marker a bit. A little bit more on there. Okay. All right. Now I'm done. That's enough. All right. This page is full. It is full of color and energy. It's a good record of this activity. And this is something, this paper, I can use this as part of other art. I'm going to take pieces of this and make other art out of it. And I'm going to show you how in some future videos. In the meantime, have fun scribbling, have fun letting out all your feelings onto the paper and practicing being an artist. See you soon.